More states are pushing to ban the sale of gas-powered vehicles, but one state is taking the opposite approach. Republican lawmakers in Wyoming introduced a bill to phase out the sale of electric vehicles by 2035. Now, I said it big and bold so you know where you might want to move. They say the move will, speaking of which, safeguard the state's oil and gas industries and protect thousands of American jobs. The bill's sponsor with this. We wanted to make a statement about that, and probably we'll be the only state that makes that statement. We get the message out there that we're supporting our, our industries that have been around for 100 years supporting us, and we want to support them now. In August, California became the first state to ban the sale of new gas-powered vehicles by 2035. Fifteen other states jumped on board. Tammy Bruce is here, Fox News contributor, host of Get Tammy Bruce, and we did. Yes. That's on Fox Nation. Happy. Um, Oh, move to Wyoming. Yeah, right. Beautiful state. But here's what California knows it has, which is some power. So while Wyoming is doing its thing, which is fabulous, and, and other states should do Political it as well. power, you mean? Well, yes, but they're the 10th largest uh, car market in the world. Oh, right. Uh, they're even with France, and the UK is an example. Uh, they're huge, so, and certainly the most influential in the United States. So when car makers hear this, they immediately have to adjust because they think they're not going to have a market in California, which is, you know, the 10th largest country for cars in the world. So th this is where California thinks they're going to push everybody else into their so-called green agenda, which, of course, is a mistake. It's a disaster. We saw what happened with California before, telling people not to charge their cars when there was a, a grid problem out there. So you you've got more, the government has more control over you when you have electric cars. You have more control when you have combustion mm. engines. And we need to look for cleaner ways, I agree, when it comes to fossil fuels. But if you do this, then we stop doing all of that investigation as well. Yeah. Nobody is talking about, and, and that's kind of the rap that, that Republicans get that's not true. Nobody's talking about not transitioning. You know, I was recently in Dubai. They're transitioning. They want to sell the world their fossil fuel and live more off of nuclear. Correct. And, and that's an interesting process. But they're not doing it in 24 hours. They're not mandating it. Not that 2035 is 24 hours. But it is if you it's want to keep the, a car for a minute and not keep owing the bank. It's a, it's the blink of an eye. And China, of course, you've got that is the largest car market in the world. So you're, we're doing a lot of things here that won't necessarily like banning straws, right? Mandating another mandates. It'll be a mandate for an electric car. But I think certain nations, frankly, have an interest because it gives them they have control of the grids. It gives them more control over how you so travel. True. And, and, and the control of that energy, that is one of the main reasons we should turn resist. Turn your AC up, heat your house more, turn your heat down, cool your house down. Be uncomfortable so that they can control the switch. Yes. All right. The new TLC show, Milf Manor, preparing to big fanfare. It features eight moms trying to, quote, find love with men half their age. And, of course, <clears throat> there's a twist. Love older women that can keep up with me because I'm bringing that young energy. I'm looking for love. I need a grown woman out here. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Hey. All right now. What's going on? Wait, there are moms? Holy <laughs> Users on Twitter not liking it. Yeah. Disgusting. One says this is what airs on the Learning Channel these days. One asking, can you imagine if this were Dilf Manor? Gross. Tammy. Well, it's a phrase, of course, that in general is in insulting. I think you've referred to this uh, as to the insulting nature of it. But it also speaks to the fact that I think maybe the generations are realizing that some level of maturity uh, is important. But it really does seem to be, it's like there has to be something more extreme each time. As we get it kind of addicted to the extremes or to unique things, it's like how much more can you push the envelope? So I think it's, it's kind of good that some Americans still have a standard. Uh, and yet uh, you're looking at a dynamic which is happening in America. There seems to be fewer uh, concerns when it comes to older women and younger men. It's never been a problem with older men and younger women. Uh, but uh, I think that there are new little twists where it's, imagine if it was men and younger women and it was the daughters, right, at, fo following after right. these men, Americans would be more than upset. Look, we don't need to see everything that people are thinking or feeling. But the next time I start to talk about faith, I don't even want to hear it from people. Right.
Like great, that's great ridiculous. Point. Great point. We can't be bold in faith, but we want to know what the F stands for in MILF. Right, exactly. Disgusting. Exactly. All right, Outnumbered is next. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.